Well, now there's a school in Detroit that's helping students deal with this stress in a unique way. Here's NBC's Kevin Tibbles. The boisterous kids at Detroit's Nataki Taliba School are really no different than any others, except perhaps for 10 minutes twice a day when all they hear is silence. These students aren't napping, they're meditating. Transcendental meditation was brought to the West 40 years ago by Maharishi Mahesh Yogi and made popular by the Beatles in the late 60s. And today, it's used in this school as a stress buster. It's not a religion, it's not a philosophy, it's not a way of life, it's simply a mental technique. It allows the system, the mind and the body to settle down and gain a very, very deep rest. According to these kids, it helps. I have a tendency to dwell on things that happened in the past, but when I meditate, then it helps me let them go. I just pay attention better now. And after meditation, I feel great. When we think of packing our kids off to school these days, we often worry about the problems. High stress, substance abuse, even violence. Things that threaten a child's education. But can 10 minutes of quiet time really make a difference? The research says yes. The University of Michigan followed 140 of the school's 10 to 14 year olds. They felt more connected, they felt happier, satisfied, peaceful, calm. I used to get angry a lot, but now it's like I'm calming down. And studies show meditating kids actually do better in school than kids who don't. My grade point average has went up a lot, from a 3.4 to a 3.8. Now I'm doing much better. I've evolved. At first in science, I got uh, a B, but now my grade is up to an A. And when your grades are that good, who cares what your skeptical friends think? They just think it's the weirdest thing in the world. My best friend said that they wouldn't be able to sit that still for maybe three seconds, but they just tell them that's the best thing. For today, Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Detroit. And joining us now is Nataki Taliba School Principal Carmen Anamdi. Carmen, good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Did this start out as a way to boost scores, or was your goal simply to get the kids focused? No, I learned to uh, meditate about 30 years ago, and that was really the first time that I ever started thinking about stress and the impact that stress has on our behavior. So I thought, uh, why not introduce this to 10-year-olds? We, uh, if, you, if you notice now as adults, we're all in the bookstores getting the self-help books, and every time you read one, you think, gee, I wish somebody had told me this when I was 10. So really, that was my, my uh, desire, is to, to really begin to make them aware of stress and how stress impacts on your behavior. Well, they're clearly calm as I look at them behind you there. I'm wondering if this was a tough sell to the parents. Does transcendental meditation have a religious connotation, for example, to some folks? No, not at all. We began the program six years ago, and uh, there were 180 students at the time. There were only eight families that, that did not allow their children to uh, participate in the program. And I think it's the word meditation. I think that people associate that with religion, but there's absolutely no beliefs. That's why I like the technique. It doesn't impose on any of your beliefs or your lifestyle or anything. It's just a physical technique. And, and I guess there are misconceptions I had that when I heard I was doing this segment, I went, um, did the hum. Um, and that's not part of it. We saw those kids in absolute no, silence in the tape. No, no. There isn't even any concentration. It's really a very free-flowing thing. I, I don't like anything that causes me to have to alter myself. The but, only discipline that this requires is that you do it every day. You know how you look in the mirror and you say, gee, I'm not physically fit, and so you go and exercise and you think that'll make you physically fit? No, not for that day. You have to do it over a period of time well, Carmen, to this really is, see any benefit. This is, this is not cheap. I know you've had some donations, some grants to the school, but it's an expensive proposition for most schools, I would think. Oh, that's true. Yes, Chrysler, um, the Daimler Chrysler Foundation is the one that really initiated the program for us. And then General Motors also uh, began to be one of our sponsors. But, you know, that's the way it is in this country. Anything that's healthy for us is expensive. It's like health care. Hey, are the teachers doing this, too? The teachers do this, too. We found that uh, there were some studies that have been done across the nation that say that only one out of four teachers remains in the profession. And I think that's scary. And I think part of it is because teaching is a very demanding profession, very stressful. And so I'm glad to offer it as a health benefit. Well, Carmen and Amdi, thanks so much for coming on and talking about this. Thank you.